Hey guys, Todd Helms with Eastman's Hunting Journals out here this afternoon to bring you a gear review on the new Foundry series of pants from First Light. Hey, while I got you here, drop down and match that subscribe button. Leave us a comment, let us know what else you want to see, and make sure that you're following all the things we do on social media, Instagram, Facebook, because here at Eastman's we're constantly bringing you great content all the time. So pay attention to all that stuff so you can stay up to date on everything that we do here at Eastman's. All right, so I'm wearing the Foundry, the corrugate pant in the Foundry lineup. The Foundry lineup is new for First Light this year. What they wanted to do was take, the idea behind the Foundry lineup was to take a set of pants, I have the Obsidians here next to me and I'm wearing the corrugate, and kind of beef them up, make them, take them to the next level for performance, if you will. They've added some really great features in this Foundry lineup that I know Wearing them around early, early or late July, early August this year, I'm digging it a lot. Obviously, I spent a lot of time in the mountains here in Wyoming, fly fishing in the summertime and running around, but it's this time of year when I'm starting to look for bucks and bulls. It's too buggy in the mountains to be wearing shorts, to be running around in the brush and you get scratched up, so you go to a pant. I found that so far, wearing the new Foundry Series from First Light has kept me comfortable in the mountains so far this summer. First up in this series is the corrugate pant. That's the one I'm wearing right now. Um, one of the things that I love about the corrugate pant is the knee pads in these things. It comes with knee pads. Now you're not gonna wanna wash these pants with the knee pads in, take them out before you wash them. But otherwise, I leave them in all the time. My opinion is I'd rather deal with a little bit of extra heat around, me, around my knees than have bruised and beat up knees from being, when I take a knee to look at something, I like those knee pads. They are a game changer. If you've never worn them, these corrugates come with them and they are awesome. These corrugate pants are a little bit beefier than the obsidians, primarily because of what they're made for and what they're made out of. These are a 90% nylon, 10% spandex pant. And while First Light builds them as kind of an all season pant, I will say that when it's really hot, I like the obsidian because I think it breathes a little bit better for me. That said, the corrugate has a feature that the obsidian doesn't, and that is a side zip. You want to let some cool air in? Tell you what, that's a nice, nice feature. And these are really easy to use. I've found that I'm not struggling with the zippers. If I want a vent, zip, just lay them open and they're there. It's a nice deep vent. There's no mesh or anything to get in the way of airflow. Those zippers really help make these corrugates a super versatile all season pant. You can take this thing. You could take these pants from antelope hunts in September all the way through your late season elk hunts in November or December with the right layering system. The corrugates are an outer layer. That's what they're intended to be. They run really true to size. And I, I found that I ordered a size and from First Light, they shipped it. Fits exactly the way I would expect the pant to be. It's not too tight, it's not too big. It's not too long or too short. It's right in the sweet spot. That's the nice thing about the about, that I found in both sets of pants from the Foundry series is that the obsidians fit the same. I ordered the size I needed. They were the size they were the size I needed when I got them. That's really nice. That's a nice. It's nice to know that when you order something, it's going to fit you. I've been crawling around on my knees, glassing from glassing points. I've worn these a little bit shooting as well, shooting from a kneeling position. And not only are the knee pads comfortable, but so far. It's tough. The material hasn't worn out. I haven't even got a scratch in them, really. And granted, I don't have a full hunting season behind these yet, but I have been out putting them to use in the field because I want to see what they're capable of. And honestly, if they wear out by hunting season, okay, then I know, then that answers my question. These aren't going to do that. Thus the name Foundry. These things are tough. They're Foundry, like a Foundry worker. These things are they're iron born. They are tough as nails pants. Lots and lots of pockets on the corrugate and the obsidian both. I have lots of storage capabilities. This, these thigh pockets are deep. I could put gloves in here. I could put a phone in here. I mean, whatever. I do tend to run a qu quite a bit of equipment in my pockets because I like to have things on my person. And that way if something goes sideways or I just need something, it's right there at arm's reach. My phone, my wallet, keys, you name it. I'm, hanky, whatever, whatever you need, right? Another thing about the Foundry series is they redesigned the suspenders. 
and I'll show you these on the obsidians. They redesigned these. I have them on here on the obsidians, but I don't have them on the corrugates. There's two attachment points on these, and they fit like an old school Magnum PI shoulder holster. If you're familiar with Magnum PI, um, you know what I'm talking about. If you're not, you've got some homework to do. Google it. Anyway, these double attachment points, there's only two on these pants, and they're quick release hook and loop buckles. They look like a shoulder holster. First Light did that to help combat traditional style suspenders not working great with a heavy backpack. This, this system so far works really well. I've used the suspenders a couple of times in my pack training that I do in the early mornings when I throw my ruck on and go for a walk. I wanted to see how it, how it held up under a heavy load and they're very comfortable. I can honestly say I didn't even really realize I was wearing suspenders, which isn't always the case when you're wearing suspenders. All right, so we've talked about the Foundry series being tough as nails, right? This is ironborn stuff, it's tough, but it's comfortable. One of the things that I, yeah, you could get a tough pant, you know, you could wear some sort of cotton duck pant that's gonna hold in moisture, it's gonna get cold, it's gonna get too hot, it's gonna be noisy, it's gonna be stiff and restrict your movement. There's a reason we don't wear that stuff anymore. Yeah, it's tough, but along with that toughness came some abrasiveness, and you need both. You need a pant that's tough, but that's flexible, that is warm, but yet breathes. That's the Foundry Series. In both of these, the Obsidian and the Corrugate, if I had to pick one pant to do it all out of the Foundry lineup, it'd probably be the Obsidian because I'm kind of old school that way and I like wool. I like how the Obsidian breathes really well. I like how it's warm, but yet, because it's wool, the air transfer and moisture transfer and wicking properties are really, really high. Now, the corrugates are really breathable as well, but they're a touch warmer. They also weigh 28 ounces, roughly, versus the Obsidian's 21. So if you're looking for absolute ounce counting in the backcountry, the Obsidian's gonna be your go-to pant. Like I said, they are both phenomenal, and I can see great uses for both of them. Luckily, I do have both. This would probably see, the obsidian's probably gonna see 90% of the use in the fall. When the temperature's drop and it gets colder and I want a heavier pant, I throw these corrugates on with a nice mid-weight or even heavyweight base layer. The corrugates are zip-off base layer compatible, meaning that if I need to shed my zip-off base layers, I unzip here, I can zip down inside, pull everything out, and I don't have to take my pants off. More importantly, I don't take my boots off and get my feet wet because it's usually got, there's usually snow on the ground when I'm doing that kind of stuff. That is something to think about. That's why I would choose the corrugate as my late season pant. But now I'm gonna focus strictly on the obsidian, which honestly has kind of been around as a staple, not the obsidian per se, but this wool pant design was one of the original things that First Light came out with, along with their base layers. And I've been wearing some iteration of these for a long, long time. Since the beginning, I gave my old ones to my, my original pair to my dad, and he still hunts in them. And they're a little, they've seen some miles, but they're still grinding it out every fall for him, and I'm glad, I'm glad to be able to do that. If you look at these, they're a wool pant, but they're not pure wool pant. These are a hybrid, and that was the whole point of revamping the obsidian, because wool doesn't have the wear Hmm, what's the word I'm looking for? The durability of, synth of synthetic. So First Light, with their Foundry series, this again, this kind of tough as nails, ironborn ideo ideology, they wanted to reinforce some key points in these pants. Overall, they are wool. They have wool thighs, but you get down here to the knee area, they reinforce these high wear areas on the obsidian, the Foundry obsidian, with corrugate guide nylon. It's going to add an extra layer of protection to the pant, make them, make them tougher. Also, what I have found is it makes them a little bit more waterproof. Think about what gets wet if you're not wearing gaiters walking through early morning grass in the early season and there's dew, your shins, your cuffs. Well, guess what they thought of? They ran that material behind the back of the leg and up, 
up above the knee. They ran that corrugate guide material up there. It's gonna help keep you dry. It also provides some extra stretch over the wool. They did the same thing on the back end in the seat. You sit down, if you're anything like me, you sit down from a session of glassing, you get up, you go home, and your wife's like, what's on your behind? Usually pine sap or something like that that I sat in, and then she's gotta get out the, whatever magic stuff she uses to get that stuff out of my clothes, but it works every time. But if that was in the wool, it'd be a lot messier and harder to get out. So they put this nylon on there, it's gonna up the abrasion resistance on your behind, and it's going to give you an extra level of protection and stretch. One of the things that I noticed, that I've noticed about this, it's been pretty warm, and I've tried to wear these pants equally in the field, the corrugate and the obsidian. It's warm, it's late July, <clears throat> and I'm out running around. Temps are very similar to what I could expect in early September archery seasons. This is gonna be my early season pant. I have found that the obsidian breathes so well. That rip stop wool, that air goes right through it. Now people are like, oh, well, wouldn't you get cold? Okay, that's where your zip off base layers come into play because you can take these down, zip off, and you got an extra layer there. Pretty simple problem to solve. I would rather be a little chilly than too warm. That's how I run. I don't have a problem staying warm most times in the field. If you do, the corrugate may be a better option for you. I also like how quiet the obsidian is. When I'm walking to a glassing point or I'm sneaking down to check out a water hole or whatever it might be, I don't make any noise wearing these. These are a little bit noisy and that's okay. That's okay, but you bow hunters, if you're thinking about a new pair of pants, be looking at the obsidian. It's gonna give you that extra level of silence that you need it might make the difference between clothes between sealing the deal and punching that tag and on a big early season bull elk or or whatever it might be so for bow hunting and early season stuff i'm probably choosing the obsidian i like the extra breathability it offers i like the comfort level of wool and i like the silence i like giving those animals the silent treatment i like being sneaky I might look like a big fat cat, but I like being quiet when I'm out in the woods. So there it is, you have the Foundry Series from First Light. You have a full slate of features on these pants, guys. They're tough as nails, so go to firstlight.com, check out all the details on here, and thank you for joining us for today's gear review. Until next time, we'll see you in the field.